Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic soft margin hyperplane. We have already discussed about SVM in previous video. That is here you can see a data set. E data set la e, these are negative samples and these are positive samples. If the one separating hyperplane under which is having maximum margin and this hyperplane is called SVM classifier. This is the maximum margin of the SVM classifier. We will call it hard SVM. Hard SVM. But this is the theory of the SVM. real life problem. If you have the SVM classifier, this is the maximum margin of the SVM classifier. That is the data points are close. That is the data points. That is the in this margin, there are data points in this margin. Some data points may be misclassified. That is, this is a positive sample. This positive sample is negative sample to misclassify. So, in real life problems, data points will be like this. Some may be misclassified, some may be in the margin, and some are correctly classified. Okay? So, in this situation, this separating hyperplane or our SVM will be soft. A little soft margin hyperplane. That is, in real life problems, the two class data sets are only rarely linearly separable. So why our data set is not linearly separable? There are two reasons for that. The first reason is that an instance may lie on the wrong side of the hyperplane and be misclassified. That is, here you can see some data points and an SVM classifier. Suppose these are the negative samples and these are the positive samples. Now, uh, you can find an instance. This is a negative sample but it is misclassified as a positive sample. Okay, so this is the first case. An instance may lie on the wrong side of the hyperplane and be misclassified. Okay, now second point is an instance may be on the right side but may lie in the margin. That is not sufficiently away from the hyperplane. That is we can find some data point say like this. So this is a negative sample. Correctly classified, but this data point is appeared in the margin. This is the margin. This data point is correctly classified as negative sample, but it is appeared in the margin. Okay. So these are the two reasons. So in such cases, we introduce an additional variable psi i called slack variables, which store deviation from the margin so some data points deviate cheyunu ennu nammal parnallo ee data points inde deviation e etra maatram adu deviate cheyunnundu ennu kaanikina oru variable aanu psi i ennu parayanathu so psi i is equal to 0 means data point xi is correctly classified suppose if we consider this data point this is a negative sample and it is correctly classified and not in the margin. So we can say that the psi i of this data point is 0. Okay. So now the second case is if the value of psi i is between the 0 and 1. That is if it is less than 1. The meaning is the data point xi is correctly classified but in the margin. That is, this is the case. This is a negative sample. It is correctly classified but it is in the margin. So, for this data point, psi i is less than 1. Okay. So, next case is psi i is greater than 1. So, the meaning of this is the data point xi is misclassified. So, misclassified means, this is the case, that is, this data point 
is a negative sample but it is classified as positive. So that is this data point is misclassified. So the value of psi i for this data point is greater than 1. Okay. In this situations we can reformulate our SVM problem. So SVM problem can be reformulated as follows. Given a data set of n points that is our data set contains n number of samples say x1 bar y1 x2 bar y2 etc xn bar yn here x1 x2 etc xn represents the data point and y1 y2 etc yn represent the class label whether it belongs to positive sample or negative sample okay so find vector omega and psi and a number b which minimize this function that is in the previous video we discussed about SVM classifier in that case we have to maximize the distance between the two hyperplane for that purpose we minimize norm of omega square divided by 2 okay so in that case we minimize this function but here we need to introduce the slack variable so we add the sum of all the slack variable and then we multiply this with a soft error called C. That is why we training set the data points in the training set. That is why we have to do this slack variable sum. Okay. So, in soft margin hyperplane, we need to minimize the whole function. That is, here we need to consider the deviation also. Subject to yi into vector omega into vector xi plus b greater than or equal to 1 minus psi i. So, we need to satisfy these two equations. So, finally, we can define the soft margin hyperplane as the hyperplane given by the equation vector omega dot vector x plus b is equal to 0 with the values of vector omega and b obtained as solutions of the reformulated problem. So, this is the reformulated problem. E reformulated problem, we need to minimize this function. This minimize the function omega vector b. This equation is the function hyperplane is the soft margin hyperplane. Okay. If you understood this topic, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.